Hi everyone and welcome back to a brand new video from Make Print Repeat. If you have ever worked on 3D printed projects, you know how valuable it is to use normal fasteners to secure the parts. And one of the best ways to do it is to use threaded inserts, which make very strong con connections. However, it is very difficult to align them ver vertically consistently. So that is why in this project we will try to fix that issue. For this project we will need a soldering iron, so something to melt the plastic, and then some sort of manual press to make the soldering iron be perfectly vertical with the part. There are already some of these tools available, but none of them really inspired me. They seemed either too complex or too simple. Now let's thank this video's sponsor, PCBWay. PCBWay offers PCB manufacturing and, and assembly services which are fast and cheap and they offer a variety of options to choose from at the same time they also offer cnc and 3d printing serv services from a range of m materials for also competitive prices i especially like the aluminium cnc machining service and also the 3d printing service out of resin and sls nyl nylon sticks powder since they are very very versatile for different projects but now i'll leave you to a design time lapse of this heat start insert tool So as you can see the design is pretty simple, it's just a 2020 ex extrusion with a base that in this case is CNC machine but it can also be easily made from plastic. Then I used an MTB inspired handle to make it easy to move up and down the soldering iron. Also I tried making the support for, for the soldering iron easy but also very good looking then here we can see the two different pulleys that transfer the force from the counterweight to the soldering iron to build it i used some old v, v wheels from a printer and then an old soldering iron that I had laying around. Then I printed some of the parts, including the counterweight, the handle, and also the support for the soldering iron. All of these parts were printed out of PLA since it's not really important that they are able to su sustain higher tem temperatures or that they need to, to be strong. The only part that I might change in the future is the support for, for the soldering iron since after some testing I ha have seen that the PLA starts to soften due to the soldering iron heating up but now let's get to the unboxing of the parts from PCBWay in the package they include a pen a ruler and some stickers which are always nice to have 
and then also this sample of a SLA print. But then we get to the good, good stuff. This is the CNC machine base out of aluminium, which is also already polished. And then the carriage, which I have to say looks absolutely stunning. And these are the 3D printed parts out of SLS nylon. There are some pulleys and then the soldering iron sub support arm. The surface finish of the machined part is absolutely phenomenal. I really like seeing the machining marks on the part. Then we get to the SLS nylon parts in which you can't really see the layer, layer lines which makes them really nice. Also they are super strong. At the same time, one of the greatest advantages of printing in SLS is the fact that you don't need supports since the small powder of nylon already supports the parts while it's printing. But now let's get to a small assembly montage. In this iteration of the design, I used fixed su supports for the wheels. However, I noticed that not being able to adjust the tightness of the carriage made it a bit hard to regulate the counterweight. And then we screw with just one screw the base to the 2020 prof profile. We can see how the design looks pretty nice, especially I like the SLS nylon part, which has the triangle pattern on it. At the same time, obviously there are improvements since this is a first ed edition. The main ones I would say are the counterweight and the way that you fix the string 
to the support arm of the soldering iron. Also, it would be very nice to have a version that has two axes instead of one, so it can move in the y direction but also in the x direction. And this would make it so much e easier to position different heat sets in inserts in a single part. But now let's try it. In this case, I'm trying to have heated heat sets insert on pill LA, so the temperature is around 180. But I think that this was a bit too hot since the plastic melted a bit too fast. And here we can see how the soldering iron stays perfectly ver 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 vertical, which makes it very easy to insert the inserts straight. And the only issue sometimes is that when the temperature is a bit too high, the insert sort of sticks on the tip of the soldering iron. However, this can be fixed by lowering the temperature or using a different tip. I hope you liked the video and I'll see you next time.